So you ever feel like there's not enough of you to go around and that you're pulled between work and home and family? Stick around. So a few years ago, I was doing some work for uh, my master's program in leadership. And um, I had to interview a leader. And so uh, my one of my brothers works for corporate Chick-fil-A, so I interviewed him. And I asked him how he balanced work and home because he traveled a lot and he had raised two great kids. And I asked him and, and uh, my sister-in-law how they balanced that. And he introduced me to a concept that I'd never heard of and he called it intentionally imbalanced. He said that in the day and age we work in, it's just impossible to leave work at, at work and be at home 24 seven. When our dad did that back in the day, he'd open up his briefcase, put his stuff in it, go to work, he'd come home, we'd never hear about it. And he'd never do work at home because he could. But in this day and age with email and text and social media, it's just impossible to do that. So the concept that he taught me that day was to be intentionally imbalanced. And what that means is this, when you're at work, be at work. When you're home and you can be home, be 100% there. But there's seasons of your life at work that you're gonna have to be intentionally imbalanced, meaning that pendulum is gonna have to swing way to that side. And when you're there, do that. But as soon as that project's over, as soon as the light at the end of that tunnel is realized, then swim, swing that pendulum all the way back to the other side and be at home when you can be home. Be intentionally imbalanced. If you've been in finance very long, and uh, you might have heard the term compounding interest. And what that basically says is whatever you invest in over time compounds and grows exponentially. It might be your finances or your retirement you're saving for. But the same is true in your relationship with your spouse. If you invest in that relationship, it's gonna grow. And the same is true with your family. If you invest in spending time with them, you're gonna reap huge benefits later in their life because you've invested in the relationship and then there's something to draw from. So we've seen, it's, it's true in scripture, that it also says that don't store up for yourself treasures on earth where moth can eat it or it can rust away but instead store up treasures in heaven and then you'll have something there when you get there we've seen that life is all about the choices that we make if you are going to choose one thing you're probably going to have to not choose something else so we're not saying that you shouldn't have um, a job that you love and that you shouldn't invest there that you shouldn't spend a lot of time doing your very best and giving it your very best but we are saying make sure that you're making investments at home as well that's just as important wouldn't it be bad if you got to the end of your life and you climbed to the top of the ladder but you realized the ladder was against the wrong wall that would be bad and I've known a lot of people to do that so I think the challenge today is to Realize what your investments are. Count the costs. What are the things that when you're 60, 70, 80 years old, you want to say, I've accumulated wealth. And that's not necessarily financial wealth. That could be a financial wealth that invests in others, but it could, could be in relationships. So count the cost. Find out what those things are that you want to invest in. And then be intentionally imbalanced. When you're with your family, be there. When you're at work, be there. Well, that's all for us for this week. We're actually being intentional about taking a hike with our kids and enjoying being outdoors. But we hope you'll join us next week. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Have a great week.